Welcome everybody. This is Chaitan with Gym Dev. I am very excited to be making this video today. And the reason behind that is we officially have the Joomla 4 release candidate one. Now, for those of you who don't know what this means, this means that the development for Joomla, now hold, no, don't hold me to it, but the development, any new features being added to Joomla 4 has stopped. And right now, they'll only be focusing on making minor improvements and fixing bugs. So there is no huss about, you know, going to bootstrap six or seven perhaps, or including the next jQuery or any of that stuff that has stopped now. And the release candidate basically means is no new major features will be added and it'll only be bug fixes and you know making sure everything works the way it's supposed to before a final Joomla 4 release comes in. Now the blog post talks about a lot of things Joomla for speed, Joomla for accessibility. We'll go through all of this in detail here in a minute. Joomla for security, Joomla for workflows, Joomla for emails and Joomla for search. So these are kind of the six main features at the end user can use. Initially, if you go back and watch for our blog posts or our Joomla 4 videos, you'll see we were talking about namespaces, we were talking about all kinds of technical stuff. And it looks like now we're focusing, even the Joomla official team is focusing more on the front end stuff, the stuff that the end user will be using. So there's a huge speed improvement. Joomla 4 is much faster than existing Joomla version and loads faster. That's probably because of namespaces in PHP. There is Joomla for accessibility, which means it is compatible with the WCAG guidelines, officially making it by default compatible. We did a video and a blog post on this back in the day. There's a plugin that's included in Joomla 4 that does majority of the heavy lifting, you know, changing colors, reading text and all that stuff. The third main feature is Joomla for security. Again, using namespaces, well-written, well-organized code makes sure there are lesser chances of us getting hacked. Joomla for workflows is something I have not wrapped my head around and I, for the life of me, cannot explain it in this five second intro that I'm giving on all of these bullet points. Joomla for emails. This is a new feature where what it lets the users the end user do is let the user edit pretty much all the outgoing emails. Uh, you know, the user registration email or the contact email and any emails that go out of your Joomla website using the Joomla backend. Now, this was already a feature because you could do this via language overrides. It's just been brought up a little bit and highlighted and now there's a proper place for it. Uh, Joomla for search. This is, you know, the search Joomla for Smart Search has been rewritten or improved to make sure the search works better. All right, with that out of the way, uh, well, last warning, disclaimer, do not update any of your live production websites to Joomla 4 yet. Give it a test run, report all the bugs you can find on GitHub. But beyond that, it's definitely not something that should be running on production sites. With that out of the way, let's give it a try. Let's. So I downloaded the version from here from GitHub, and now we are going to install this. All right. So this is real sweet so far. And my super secure username and password, which is admin and admin. All right. That does not work. So maybe we do uppercase admin uh, still doesn't work so you see how secure you have to go for a password right joomla is secure so it's just getting longer right yeah okay so yeah it's not really secure it's the length that matters right i can do admin admin twice uh three times and it takes it as secure, which is definitely not secure. So it's not looking at the number of characters you're using, but merely looking at 
the number of letters you have in your password. So there you go, the first bug. I'll probably report this after uh, this video if someone has not done it already. Uh, let's put in our email. Okay, let's make sure I don't forget the password. So this is our username, no password, Joomla4 underscore RC1, JOS underscore. Uh, you can keep this random. I just like to keep it JOS, uh, which was the default one from back in the day. So let's give it an install. And it uh, completed pretty fast. It may take a little bit of time depending on uh, how fast or how slow your service is. server is. Uh, let's log in. And okay, so, hmm. This, these icons are good, right? So one of the improvements that was supposed to be done in the last version of Joomla was including Bootstrap 5, right? And as you can see, we do have Bootstrap, uh, well, there's Bootstrap JavaScript. There's all the JavaScript for Bootstrap. Is the CSS at the bottom? It looks like we do have Bootstrap 5 in here, right? It these are compressed files, minified files, so I can't be sure. But it does look like we have Bootstrap 5. This was one of the reasons this last version was delayed. And, you know, the UI looks pretty sleek, right? Uh, this is, this looks pretty good, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and install the sample data. So let's see how this works. So that finished real quick. The sample data installed pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, we have a bunch of menu items. We have a bunch of modules and you know, good amount of content. And yeah, overall looks looks pretty looks pretty sleek. And yeah, uh, so yeah. Yeah, looks, looks good. Let's see if we can find something in the back end real quick. Uh, something new, users looks all the same. Components, mm, looks all the same. Probably should get rid of banners. No one's using that, or maybe five people are. Uh, menus stays the same. Then we have, these plus buttons are really nice on the module level. If you just wanna go ahead and create a new module, right? And this is good, right? While you're creating a module, it's not locking it. So on the initial step, which was kind of what it did, you know, on the order Joomla 2. So you can search for modules and it's instant search. So that's good, right? So yeah. So if, in case when you have a lot of modules, this is good. And it's displaying the description right here. So that's good. Um, for articles, we have yeah, the, this is pretty much the same apart from just a newer UI, which I think is uh, what Bootstrap 5 brought in. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, the rest of it looks really good. And the UI is sweet. I'm excited because this is probably going to get us to a point where Joomla can be released, which Joomla 4 can be released, which means that we will Joomla 4 will finally see the light of day and we'll see if this is the deal breaker we have all been waiting for and that's it let us know if you liked Joomla 4 and you know like like i said help with testing if you can uh, post comments we'll try to reply and that's it thank you for tuning in i'm excited